and welcome to another video. Today's video I am doing best sequels versus worst sequels. Like worst sequels. I've got some books to talk to you about today guys that I didn't like. Let me tell ya. So I'm gonna crack in, like I feel like, you know, half glass full, like I should always talk about the things positive first, so I'm gonna start off with a book that I that is positive to me. So now the first book I'm gonna be talking about that's positive is The Gatekeeper's Daughter by Eva Pola. Now this is part of The Gatekeeper's uh, saga and it's actually one of my favorite sagas by Eva Pola. Eva Pola's written a few books and I've read actually most of them now, I think, if not all of them. This series is definitely my favorite and the sequels in this one get better and better, although they get smaller and smaller size-wise, they just get better and better. They're way more action-packed like the writing's improved so much like everything about this series just gets better and better so it's definitely on my best series like if you like Greek gods guys Greek gods romancy you would love this series and I just feel like you guys should all check it out because you know this series means so much to me I love it it's so good so yeah this is definitely a series which I definitely think the sequels are better like they just get better and better so whoop, amazing sorry right one of the worst series I've read sequel wise is The Fate of the Tilling by Erica Johansson this is the third and final book in the Queen of the Tilling series and can I just say too that this book was absolutely like a pile of crap like honestly 70% of it I absolutely loved the last 30% of it was so awful that I had to rate this book two stars like I was really you guys know if you've been watching me for a year or two you know that I love this series and I don't bash books and I really don't like this one was so awful to me this book the way it ended was so awful it is definitely on my list of series that I absolutely despise so uh the way you ended was disgusting so actually the favor tilling like I absolutely really am not happy with you right now like I see why you entered the story like that but could you not have just given us an extra 200 pages and did it the way we all wanted it to end so yeah thanks so much for breaking my heart ripping out and stamping on the floor <laughs> bye Another amazing series I'm talking about in New World Ashes by Jennifer Wilson. This is one of the best sequels that I've read for a dystopian series. It's this one, New World Rising. This is the sequel, New World Ashes. And then there's New World Inferno coming out at the end of the year. New World Ashes is, is it, this whole series about a girl living in like this sectioned off piece of land in America, Tartarus, and basically surviving from all these different gangs. And then she escapes and gets into the... Ca it is just... Oh, it's just moving. It's really quite touching. One of the best sequels that I've read in a very long time. The first book was really epic and I remember just reading it in one sitting and just like plowing through it. But this one just it takes you on another journey emotion wise. Like it was fantastic. So again, amazing sequel. So I'm going to gently throw you because I'm not throwing you like I threw the favor tailing, honey. I'm going to gently caress you and throw you onto the pillows. Another awful series. Can we just talk about something for a second, guys? Mocking Jay. I'm sorry if any of you are Hunger Games fans. I applaud you. I loved the first two books. This book was so awful to me that I actually never finished it because I was done. Like, I was absolutely done. Look how battered this book is. I was finished with this. Like, no. Don't you dare, don't you dare come to me and say that you're ending a book like that? You're doing that to the characters? No! Mockingjay? No! I haven't even watched the film, let me just tell you. I haven't even watched the Mockingjay films because I just don't even care. Just leave me with my mind of how I wanted the films to end. So yeah, this is definitely on my worst sequel list because, you know, bye Felicia. You ain't a part of the family, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Frostlight Night, one of the best sequels I've read. This is the third and final book in this series by Sarah Rash. One of the best sequels and series that I've read. It just got better and better. It ended how we all wanted it to end. It was not predictable at all, but it still ended how we wanted it to end even though we might not have want known we wanted it to end like that. It was brilliant. The writing got better and better. She was such a strong writer, such a strong storyteller. I am gonna read anything Sarah Rash puts out. Yes, a really fantastic sequel. Like, guys, this series sequel-wise is just f <laughs> Okay. I enjoyed this book as a script, but I feel like it wasn't necessary. I really do. I really feel like it was not necessary. I did enjoy it. I would read it again, but it just wasn't necessary. That's why it's on my not so good sequel list because it just wasn't necessary. We didn't need it. Could have just stayed as a play. We didn't need the script. Like I appreciate that they did it for us. The Fantastic B script's like much better. Like I love that, but this wasn't necessary. And also that whole trope of like saving everything through time travel is so old and boring and such a cop out now, but it was good. It was good, but it's still on my bad list. Let me tell you. And ending on a positive guys, always end on a positive when you're talking about things that aren't so positive, let me tell you. Remember Yesterday by Pint It Done. Oh my god, this sequel just was just blew me away. I thought I loved the first one, but forgot tomorrow. But, but this one, Remember Yesterday, blew me away. Like, the writing, the story was way more deeper. The emotions, you got touched, like, so deep in the emotions. It was so magical and moving and wonderful. Like, the lengths you'd go to save a family member. Really, girl? You went there, Callie. Like, you went there. Love you. So, I just love this. I 
recommend you all check out this series by Pinted Done. It's just moving. It's so touching. I love it. I think you guys would like it too. So please go and check it out. I recommend to anyone. I've got one more book to talk about. And that's The Merch Charmer by Amy Biss. Now this is a sequel to the Fairy Keeper book, which I read like a year and a half ago, two years ago, however long it was. Merch Charmer is on a different level. Amy's writing and her ability as an author has just like quadrupled in size. This story took you to another place. Mermaids, obviously I love writing mermaids. And also I feel like the reason why there isn't as many mermaid books is because it's so hard to write about living under the sea. Like it's not like me and you can just go and experience it and live it and know how to write it and experience the actions. We, You can't do that as a mermaid really. So I thought the way she did this was incredible. Like it was a, such a brilliant thing. This is like an upper middle grade YA, lower YA read. It is so mysterious. Think like, think how Harry Potter started off. Like it was light, airy, fairy, but with really dark twists. That is what this series is like. So I do recommend you go and check this out too. So there you have it. They're all the books I'm talking about in my best sequels versus worst sequels book. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what your best sequel was and what your worst sequel was. And apart from that, I'll see you all again very, very soon for another video. Thanks so much for supporting and watching. Love you lots. Bye.